Hi everyone, Nathan Miller here, and in this video we're going to go over the advanced color settings in Pangolin Beyond. These settings are used to correct the color mixing of your laser projector so they match what you see on your computer screen along with smoother color mixing. Common problems with color mixing on projectors will be white on a projector appearing blue or purple, or orange will look yellow, or skin tone will be bright white, and so on. To fix these problems, the amazing software designers at Pangolin have included tools for each FB3 or FB4 connected to Beyond to color correct your projectors. To access these settings, first we need to go to Settings, Projector Settings, and Color Settings. In this tab, you'll find five different color setting options for you to choose based on your projector. Probably the most common way, and not the best way, users are correcting their colors are by using the voltage sliders at the bottom of each color. These are handy, but far from perfect. Next, we'll choose the Advanced option and click Edit. New window will pop up. This window has five tabs that can be configured any way you like, and each configuration can be called upon later. You'd want to use a fully balanced setting when displaying graphic shows, and you'd want to use a high saturation or high power setting when displaying beam shows. It's up to you. Inside each tab, we have a section for training colors used to get a more accurate result with a particular hue. Color channels used to adjust the output voltage of a particular color channel associated with a training color, a non-linear correction graph used to tune the laser of a particular color channel, and an output voltage range. Internally, Beyond operates using 24-bit RGB color. Some laser projector may have a different number of lasers. Each laser has one color such as red, yellow, green, or blue. Professional projectors can use up to six color channels. A word of caution when using these settings. If using the same FB3 or FB4 with multiple laser projectors of different build and specifications, these settings can cause mixed colors on those projectors to not look correct. To correct this issue, it is recommended to save a projector setting file for each projector you use. The projector we are using for this demonstration has three lasers in it, red, green, and blue. Our vision is not linear just like our hearing, and some parts of your projector may not be either. Thankfully, Beyond has the tools to solve those problems in your projector. To begin our color balance from this window, we need to have our projector play a new color test pattern. Click the Test Pattern button for another window to pop up. Choose a new color test pattern and click Show It Now. Over in the Training Color section starting with red, we will put a check in the box to recolor test framing cues. With red selected in the Channel section, our nonlinear correction graph area is now set up to balance our red. In this section we have some preset waves and point settings we can choose for our graph such as square or TTL, used for projectors without analog modulation, two-point log, very handy for a quick tune on some lasers, five-point freeform curve, 11-point freeform curve, and reset. We'll be using the five-point freeform curve for this tutorial. Think of each point on this graph representing a circle your projector is displaying. Beginning with the second point, this represents our circle furthest left, which is our dimmest value but appears brighter because it is displayed using 17 turns. And our fifth point, representing our circle furthest right, displayed using one turn. Our goal with this test pattern is to adjust each of our points to make each color as evenly bright as the circle furthest right. You can start anywhere you like. I like to start by bringing point four all the way to zero so all the circles except the furthest right are dimmed. Then increase intensity on each point until all four circles are of even brightness. When finished, click the black color button and bring the first point up until a dim red X becomes visible. Then take that point back down until the X disappears. Next, select green in the training colors section and then select green in the color channels section. And repeat the balance process as we did for red. After we're finished with green, we will repeat the process for blue.
Now that we have our three diodes balanced, we can check our mixing by selecting white in the training section. That looks pretty good. Should our white have had a different shade to it, you would decrease the color voltage slider until you have a good white. Should you have additional laser colors in your projector like yellow, you'll need to go into each training color and adjust the color voltage sliders to display each color correctly. Additional training color hues can be added by clicking Add Training Hue and selecting a hue value. Before leaving our color settings, let's set up a few more settings. We will leave High Saturation as is and select the High Power tab. For each color graph we adjusted, change the color graph to have a square wave. Next, we'll choose Optional A and assign a log setting to each color on the graph. Now click OK, then OK. Now that we have our colors balanced and a few color settings set up, let's go over how these settings are used and can be called upon later. By default, when we play a cue, it will play with our fully balanced setting. As mentioned before, fully balanced is the ideal setting for all graphic shows and provides the best color mixing. To access our other settings we defined, commonly referred to as color palettes amongst laserists, the FB3 or FB4 must be set to use the advanced color setting. At the Q level, we can assign our color settings by right-clicking the Q, going to Q Properties, and choosing the Image tab. In here, we have a drop-down menu that will list each of the five tabs we can have configured. Go ahead and preview each setting with the current Q, and notice the differences in the color mixing. Alternatively, if the queue is a set of frames, you can also assign a color setting to each frame in the queue. Choose the setting you wish to use for the queue and click close. To call these settings at the FX level, in the FX tab on the queue or a quick effects box, I'll use a quick effects box to demonstrate. Click add, then go to more then choose Output Color Balance. Once the effect has been assigned, just choose the balance you wish to use. That wraps it up on the advanced color settings. If you enjoyed this tutorial or found it helpful, don't forget to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe for updates on new tutorials. Should you have any questions or comments, please reach out to us and thanks for watching.